A company in China is trying to help the country avoid a beef shortage by cloning cattle. America did the same thing when we faced the great Wayans Brothers shortage of 2007. Boya Life, the world's largest stem cell company, plans to open the world's first commercial animal cloning center in 2016. Cattle ranchers are struggling to keep up with increasing demand for beef as more and more Chinese people realize that it's what's for dinner. The new facility aims to eventually provide 5% of all of China's beef. Boya Life is partnering with Suom, a Korean cloning company that has been successfully cloning animals for years. They primarily clone dead or dying pets for grieving owners that are also completely insane. Sound like some unethical future junk? Well, you may already have bought that unethical future junk, so joke's on you. Scientists have been cloning animals for almost two decades. Since the birth of the world's first cloned animal, Dolly, in 1996, cloning has raised a storm of ethical concerns from religious and non-religious groups alike who criticize scientists for attempting to play God with genetic experimentation. In China, animal cloning has been restricted to scientific research until now. More and more companies are interested in investing in cloning technology for commercial use, especially animal husbandry, which can be very expensive and unpredictable. Cloning as a substitute for husbandry could improve quality and reduce costs, as well as eliminate the job of bull penis positioner forever. You're welcome, Gary. In the US, the FDA has already approved dairy products from cloned animals, and Transova, a farm in Iowa named like it's a post-gender prog rock band, has been producing 100 cloned calves in addition to pigs and goats since 2014. Products from these cloned specimens don't need to be specially marked either, so if you've already bought them, you wouldn't even know. The announcement of the impending factory has generated pushback from the Chinese people, with several demanding that their leaders test the meat for quality assurance first. Given the country's history of food crises, it's no surprise that people are skeptical. And since cloned animals generally live shorter, less healthy lives, producing them in large quantities could pose unforeseen challenges. And there's no question that animal rights activists will resist. But it's likely that this multi-million dollar investment will come to fruition, especially since the technology already exists. It's said that in science, if it can be done, it will be. However, this could be the opening of a larger can of worms in genetic alterations, so scientists must tread lightly. And if they start cloning larger cans of worms, I'm out. Hey, thanks for watching The Daily Desk. If you like what you saw, click to subscribe, comment below, share the link with a friend or an enemy. I don't care.